You won't believe how easy it is for hackers to pretend to be someone they're not. Keep watching to find out their tactics and the tools they use to spoof emails and caller IDs and arm yourself with the knowledge to stay safe. In the age of technology, our lives have become more convenient, but the threat of scams, hacks and online threats has risen as well. One of the techniques hackers use is called spoofing. Hackers use spoofing to scam you. So, what is spoofing? Spoofing is a method used by scammers where they disguise their identity by altering the information that appears in your email inbox or caller ID. This way they trick you into thinking they are someone you know or trust. They also use email spoofing. Email spoofing is when hackers send emails that appear to be from a trusted source, like your bank or employer, but it's actually from a scammer. They usually include a link that asks you to enter personal information like passwords or credit card details. In caller ID spoofing, scammers manipulate your caller ID to make it look like the call is coming from a trusted source, like your bank, police, or even a government agency. They try to trick you into revealing personal or financial information. Now, let's dive into the tools hackers use to achieve this. As always, this content is for educational purposes only. Let's start with the tools for spoofing emails. Number one, send email. Send email is a lightweight command line SMTP email client. Though it's a legitimate tool, it can be misused to send spoofed emails by modifying the from field. Number two, spoof card. Spoof card allows users to change the email sender ID it is typically used for prank emails but could be exploited by malicious actors. Number three, MK's Fake Mailer. This is an online tool that allows users to send fake emails from any email address. It is commonly used by hackers to spoof emails. Let's continue with tools for spoofing caller IDs. Number one, Spooftel. Spooftel offers a caller ID spoofing service which can be misused by hackers to mask their identity when making scam calls. Number two, Crazy Call. Crazy Call is an online tool that lets users change their caller ID and voice. It is sometimes used by scammers to impersonate others. Number three, Bluff My Call. Bluff My Call offers services similar to Crazy Call, including caller ID spoofing and voice changing. It can be exploited by malicious actors. So how can you spot spoofed emails and calls? To protect yourself from spoofing, watch out for red flags, such as spelling errors, generic greetings, and urgent requests in emails. In phone calls, be suspicious of anyone who asks for sensitive information over the phone. Here are some tips to protect yourself. Verify the sender's email address or phone number. Don't click on links or download attachments from unknown sources. Use strong, unique passwords. Enable two-factor authentication for your accounts. Spoofing is just one of the many tactics scammers use to trick you. By being vigilant and following these tips, you can protect yourself and your personal information from hackers.